guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. If you are new here, my name is Angelica. I'm sharing my healthy weight loss wellness journey online. I am really excited for today's video because you guys already know I am a snackaholic. Yes, hello, welcome to the meeting. I am so glad you could make it. <laughs> I'm gonna be trying out some of the most hyped up WW slash healthy snacks. So these things that you see trending on Instagram or other social media, I'm gonna be trying it out in this new series and I have no idea what to call it. So feel free to comment below if you have any name suggestions. I'm not sure how I feel about Snackaholics Anonymous, um, Snacky Saturdays, cause I don't know what day I'm gonna upload this, but I'm definitely feeling a name to this series. This is gonna be the first of many episodes of this. So comment below those snacks that you guys want me to try. I know that some of the healthier alternative foods can be a little expensive and maybe you don't wanna try them. I'm not gonna recommend anything that I don't love so I can buy it and try it for you guys. Little by little so just tell me whatever you want me to try and I will do it. I do have just a couple weird allergies so there might be some things I don't do but for the most part comment below and tell me what you want me to try. I am an ambassador for a couple of these brands and I will let you know which ones but they are not sponsoring this video. They don't pay me to say anything good about their products or anything like that. Plus normally I'm already buying most of these snacks and trying them anyway so why would I not share with you guys how I'm feeling. I have saved some points today and I'm super excited to get started. I'm actually starving right now and I'm so ready to jump into these snacks so let's go ahead and do that. Boom. So the first thing we're trying is pedos and if you are on WW and you haven't seen this floating around then I'm not sure where you've been but welcome. Pedos have been getting a lot of Instagram attention lately. They did reach out to me to become an ambassador so I'm in the process of getting all that worked out. I don't have a discount code right now but I might have one by the time this is posted so I'll try to put it on the screen if I do and you can check the description. I love Funyuns and I'm so excited to try these. I'm scared of the hot ones. We're gonna start with these. These round ones are going to be two points per bag. They smell oniony. Oh my god. Feels weird to be chewing on camera. I'm not mad at this. There was a decent amount in here too. I think that it is worth two points. Mm, salty. Honestly, I'm not sure how many points regular Funyuns are. This is made out of peas, so it has extra protein. Maybe it'll keep you full longer. I think if you're looking for a Funyun alternative, definitely a good, very good option. It's like I have to process the snack, you know? These are really good. I don't pick up on like a lot of aftertaste. Um, it definitely doesn't taste like it's made out of peas. And I think I'm a fan. All right, I'm moving on to the hot one. I'm so scared. So I do like a little bit of sriracha sometimes. I like spicy foods, but I don't normally like the hot chips. Like I love Grippos and they're really good. It's just that I feel like, you know, I'm burning. I feel like I've entered the gates of hell. Very different smell. It doesn't smell bad, it just smells hot. Okay, it's not hot at first, but then it's like, the initial taste is good. It's warm. It's warm. I'm going to try another one. I'm sweating. <laughs> if you like hot chips, you will definitely like these. They are really good, but they're hot. Like, I don't reach for hot chips all the time, but if I'm in the mood for a hot chip, I could see myself reaching for these. <laughs> really good. All right, I got to recover from that. But um, I've always drunk the regular sparkling ice that's like in a bottle. This has caffeine and it's in a can, which I feel like makes a difference sometimes. I can't do anything. This is blue raspberry. It is carbonated water, green tea. I guess that's where the caffeine comes from. Oh, it smells really good. I do like a wine tasting. It tastes like I'm drinking like Jolly Rancher soda, like the blue Jolly Rancher. Might be a little sweet if you don't like sweetness. And this is just sparkling water, so it is zero points. I love sparkling waters as a replacement for soda if you are having trouble like dropping it. It doesn't taste like any other sparkling water I've tasted. It has a lot more flavor. 
I bought these forever ago and I've been waiting on this video to try it and I'm so pumped. This is two points. It is the apple cinnamon smart muffin. Um, I will tell you guys, I already know I love the chocolate chip one. Like, oh my God. It was seriously so, so good. It was so good and I'm excited for this. Like it smells amazing. I warmed it up a few minutes ago. Oh, it's like a perfect muffin texture. Look at that. Can you see? I love the little like sugary coating on top. Mmm. The aftertaste is like I just ate an apple pie or something. I could see like some warm applesauce or like crumbling this into yogurt or over something. Or just having like cooked apples on the side. Mmm. Very festive. Very good for fall. I still like the chocolate chip one better. I'm feeling a dent in my hunger already. I'm gonna be honest. Alright, moving on to some bada bean bada boom. These are cooked fava beans. Uh, broad beans. Maybe they're not fava beans. Yeah. And this is the mesquite barbecue one. I've tried the salt ones and I tried the sriracha ones. So first of all, I love the salt ones. The sriracha ones were definitely more sweet, like they didn't have any spice. Crunchy. Um, these are two points. This bag is two points. There's a lot of beans in here. Mmm. Okay, so just like the other ones, they are crunchy. They're a little bit gritty. So some of you might not like the texture, like it could be a texture issue. These are good. Like with the other flavors, I can just sit in front of my computer or sit in front of the TV and it's really good. If you're like a volume eater, a quantity person like I am, I can just keep crunching on something. I can for sure tell this flavor is going to give me like heartburn central, so I think I will stick to the other ones. But if you like mesquite barbecue, um, maybe you don't have heartburn problems commonly. I don't know. It just feels like it's going to give me heartburn. But I do really like the other flavors. Um, like I said, it's kind of gritty, so for some people that might be an issue. And there is 7 grams of protein. So, Guys, I am trying some smart sweets um, peach rings I did buy some other flavors to try so let me know which ones you're most interested in and I'll do those like in the next one um, I do see this says there's no sugar alcohol so I love that I'm not gonna be running to the bathroom immediately oh my god it smells so good wow what is in this I'm like okay make sure there's nothing I'm allergic to in it um, there's not much of like a coating on the outside. I don't know. There kind of is. They smell so good. It's sticking to everything. It's sticking to everything in my mouth, but it, it tastes good. I'm gonna have to edit out the sounds my mouth is making. It's good for sure. This is like the Halloween candy I want. It's just so sticky. <laughs> I don't eat peach rings, so I, I don't know if it tastes like the real one, but. All right, here is the final verdict. So I'm gonna start with the sparkling ice. I think I'm gonna give this a three and a half out of five. Um, it's a little too sweet for me. Like, I don't know if I will buy it again. It's not as carbonated. I don't know if it maybe got a little flat or something. Um, it's good, it's good. It's sweet, it's definitely a good substitution, and I don't think it was too expensive, so. It literally just tastes like candy. It's just going all through my body. I like more of the just regular fruity, um, like slightly flavored ones. Should I give this a five out of five? I saw that they're starting to have them in stores, and all I'm saying to Pito's is if this was a little more accessible, like bring it to my local Walmart in these little packs that are two points each, um, then it would be a five out of five, but I think I'm gonna give it a four and a half out of five But they're good like I'm finishing these definitely worth a try at least once um, Plus you can get lots of flavors 
the more I eat them, the more I want to give them a 5 out of 5. I want to save the 5 out of 5 for something like mind-blowing. I'm going to give the fiery onion round ones because there's like long ones too. I'm going to give these a 4 out of 5. Um, they are really good. Like they're just as good. But for me personally, it's a 4 just because I'm not super big on hot chips. Apple Smart Muffin, 4 out of 5. Um, I definitely can't find these at a store near me, which is like a big thing for me. You know, I'm more likely to pick up some other stuff usually. But I don't think you can get anything like this for this amount of points. Um, you could probably make something, I guess. I would say a 4 to a 4.5 out of 5. Um, the chocolate muffin, though, was kind of like a 5 out of 5 for me. 3 out of 5. I'm not crazy about the flavor on this one. And these peach rings are a solid 4 out of 5 as well. They are really good. <laughs> that was a really good start to testing out a bunch of these different hyped up snacks. Some other ones I've seen going around are the American Nut Butter. I'm going to have to try to get that. And Cleo bars. Um, I bought some for this video and I let them expire. So. so I'm already planning on having the Cleo bars and some different smart sweets. Let me know which one you want in the comments. And if you have any other snack suggestions, I'm your local snackaholic and I will try them out. Thanks for snacking with me today, guys. Don't forget to subscribe before you go and I will see you next time.